guys, amazing job on this film. There's so much drama, yet so funny at the same time. Let's talk about it. First of all, Sophia, you two, along with, uh, uh, you two really carry the film along with Paul Bettany. Uh, what's the key to the chemistry with you two, and when did you guys recognize it? Um, well, uh, as Beth uh, to Frank, uh, she loves him as a mentor, as someone she wants to be, and I, I look up to uh, I look up to Paul. I think he's a great, great actor. So uh, when I was doing that, all the scenes with him, I was just watching him work and trying to work alongside him, work with him instead of you know working up to him. You know what I'm saying? Kind of get to his level of acting, which is you know that's never going to fully happen. <laughs> But in such a short amount of time, but just being able to like work with him, um, I, I loved it. And he was, he was like a teacher in real life and not just um, as, so I, I kind of used, I guess I used that in our relationship. And I guess that's why it looks like that. That's amazing. Now, Peter, I, my question for you is your character stands out a little more in the South than some of the others, perhaps. Can you talk to me about how Wally perceives his surroundings? especially uh, with Frank's family? Yeah, well, I mean, Wally has been uh, in the States for a while, so he's not like, you know, he just, he didn't just land off the boat. Right. So, yeah, so, uh, so he has lived with Frank, he knows his Southern ways and he knows his, how repressed Frank is and Frank is an addict and he had to deal with that throughout the whole relationship. And he, I feel like Wally wanted to meet Frank's family badly because he wanted to have a family vicariously through Frank. And that's why we see him pushing Frank to come out to his family and to go and visit his family and wanting, wanting to be with him on this journey. Even though Wally could never be out like with his family and in his country, but he wanted to be out with Frank's family because there's a possibility of having uh, a family through Frank's family. And, uh, and he loves Frank so much and he, he just, uh, he just found his life, his life. I mean, he has a life with Frank in America, in New York, and uh, and wanted to extend it. And, um, you know, I think his background as a Muslim and uh, as somebody who is religious, a man of faith, uh, helped him to have a, a lot of compassion with Frank. Um, and I find that to be a very important nuance in the, in the movie. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Sophia, a lot of the discovery in the film is kind of told through your character's eyes. Uh, Beth grows up in a short amount of time. In what ways do you relate to Beth? And what else, uh, what else do you think Beth, uh, there's a, there, there is for Beth to learn? Um, well, um, that's the one thing I really love about Beth is, is her growth and how she becomes more, you know, she, she becomes more confident in herself and she becomes someone that she would look up to. And I love that about her and, and knowing that she, what I think is the great thing that she did is she becomes a mentor, um, he, instead of like, she helps Frank in the end, um, just by saying exactly what he said, um, to her when she was a kid. And then she says the same thing to him and she becomes a mentor. And I would love to do that, to become a mentor to somebody who's helped me all this time and uh, be the one helping them. And I think it's a great, uh, I, a great you know, uh, thing to think about is how can I be a mentor to other people instead of how, how this person gonna help me. Now, Peter, uh, this is such a personal story uh, to Alan Ball, who wrote and directed the film. Can you talk to me about the collaboration process with Alan and how that helped uh, inform your character of Wally? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I'm Alan's producing partner and I've produced uh, like Here and Now uh, with him and Banshee and this movie, I think, and, and Oprah's movie, uh, The Mortal Life of uh, Henrietta Lacks. Uh, so these are the four projects that ended up on screen and, and happened. Um, it, you know, uh, when he writes something, he just asked me to read it and to give my opinion. Uh, but he's funny because he tells me, okay, well, first tell me about the good things. Don't just go to the bad things. Just tell me the good things first because I need to hear that. Uh, but, you know, so it's it's like work in progress. You know, you make things be better. You, you just develop the characters to be uh, more uh, relatable, which is very important. And, you know, like, like with Wally, for example, like at first he had him, you know, waiting in the motel and eating a bag of chips. And I suggested that maybe he should call his mom instead, because that would make it more personal. And we would understand where Wally comes from and why he's so 
loving and generous to Frank because of his mom's love to him. So things like that, little nuances where you make the character, you shape the character, uh, you know, make, make them better and more relatable and more personal. Um, but I love working with him. I mean, it's such a, uh, you know, it, it's great. It really is. It really is. Both of you guys did an amazing job. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you.